Hi, I'm Glenn Keane. I'm the supervising animator for Tarzan. What you're about to see are scenes, uh, rough animation, the exploratory drawings, the process that we go through in developing a character like Tarzan. There's a whole evolution that an idea goes through from beginning to end. You look at the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo didn't start by just immediately painting on the ceiling. He first had to do his studies before he could jump into it. The same with animation. Uh, we went to Africa, we studied how animals move, we studied sculptures, uh, anatomy. One of the things I loved about working in Paris was the chance to ride my bike and discover things along the way, like this statue by Dalou in the Place de la Nation. There's a man riding this lion, and when I went around this statue, I thought, that's Tarzan. So we started to do drawings based on what we saw from that sculpture and other studies of anatomy. We brought in the professor of anatomy from the Ecole de Beaux-Arts. Uh, I did these drawings in pencil. He went over the muscles in red. We found that this costume that Tarzan was wearing was going to be the most complicated of all. It was the first time we'd ever animated actually a functioning human anatomy. One of the first exercises that we did was assigning for each animator to study an animal movement and transpose that into Tarzan. That's what we're going to take a look at here. See, the very first test, these don't really look like Tarzan as much because this was our first attempt, but they were experimenting with how Tarzan would move as an animal. One, it's an animation here. This is not exactly on model Tarzan. It was his first attempt, but there was something nice about the way he clears his hair out of his eyes, I felt. Here, Kristoff had been studying how monkeys clean off the bugs off of each other's hair and felt like, hey, why not have Tarzan do that? You know, to him, it's not unusual. Kristoff, on uh, this scene, he was studying how basketball players hang on the hoop, and it was just a real fun uh, fluidity and natural rhythm to this movement. At the same time, with the animal feel that he's comfortable on all fours, and it, it just had this great freshness and spontaneity to his movement. It was important that Tarzan be able to move on all fours in a convincing way and in a way that didn't make him feel like the family dog, that there was a, a spring to his step. The way he can climb up and use his feet for climbing had to be natural. Uh, here, Jerry has got Tarzan moving through the, the vines with baboons. The poses are like monkeys moving through the trees. We were discovering just how far you could go with Tarzan and still have him be believable. In this scene, Eric's animation shows Tarzan stretching and waking up in the morning. He's on this tree, but it's the surprise that instead of just using his hands, his feet are just as dexterous. In this scene, David Berthier was solving a problem that I felt we were going to have, is how can Tarzan stand upright on two legs and not feel like just a regular human guy? And he kept this animal feeling to Tarzan. The added bit with the, the soap and Tarzan's innocence was a little bit of a revelation that we were going to be able to have a lot of fun with Tarzan. In Zoltan's animation here, how an animal wakes up and stretches combined with how a human stretches is the beauty of this scene. In this scene, I wanted to play the, the curious side of Tarzan. He, he finds this little perfume bottle, doesn't know what it is. And I wanted to see if you can take a gorilla sound and have it actually feel like it's coming out of Tarzan. Would it seem too big, too loud, too deep and rich? Or does Tarzan actually, can he support that kind of sound? These are study sketches that I did preparing for a scene where I wanted Tarzan to be playing with the gorillas, thinking that, hey, like the chimpanzee, he could be doing this almost like they spin around, almost on their head, it's like a top. So the rough animation is based on these sketches. So where, when Tarzan has all the gorillas on his back, he does what's natural to him in spinning around like a chimpanzee. There's an energy that you get when you do your first rough animation. These are the very first rough tests of Tarzan sliding down this little roller coaster of a jungle with Jane in his arms. I had noticed that in front of Notre Dame, the way the, uh, the rollerbladers would go between these Coke cans, they had this fun little movement with his, with his feet. And I thought, why not have Tarzan to be able to do this? So we actually built 
the branches so that Tarzan's feet could be going back and forth as if they're going through the Coke cans. And it, uh, I think it worked great. The animal movements that Tarzan has are, are fun to watch, but we really relate to Tarzan because of the human emotions he shows. Here's a sequence where you see Tarzan in the treehouse where he discovers his roots. Is this me? These scenes, for me, are often the most difficult because you are trying to express such emotions that you feel your, yourself and you've experienced in your own life. I remember animating these scenes feeling the same emotions Tarzan was going through. And all you can do sometimes is just press harder on your pencil to try to, to make the drawing express what you're feeling in your heart and you hope that the audience can feel it as they're looking at it. The scene where Tarzan meets Jane face to face is a moment where he discovers someone like him. You have to express it in the eyes and I tried to find a moment in my own life when I had seen and discovered somebody like myself for the first time. And I remember my daughter Claire being born, 30 seconds old. The doctor puts her in my hand and I looked and it was like a mirror, I could see myself. And I told Claire, when you see this scene, Claire, that's not Tarzan looking at Jane, that's me looking at you. These are the things that make Disney animation real for us, is taking our own life and trying to put that up onto the screen so the audience feels it like we did.